So today's presentation will be on storing files with Dropbox. What, we ex what we'll explore is what is Dropbox, how you can access it, how does Dropbox work, how does it help you upload and access your files from anywhere, making it convenient for collaboration and remote work, and the available plans Dropbox offers. So starting off with what is Dropbox? Dropbox is a file hosting service that offers cloud storage, file synchronization, personal cloud, and client software. To use Dropbox, you would just enter www.dropbox.com into your browser to create an account with your email. Your email will function as your username, and then you will set a password and sign up for an account. You can also sign up with a Google or Apple If you are using your mobile device, you would simply download the app. It is available in the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. You can also download the desktop app if you are using one or simply access it from the website. To download the desktop app, simply enter www.dropbox.com desktop. And once it is, it is successfully downloaded, it should appear in your taskbar or menu bar, depending on uh, which desktop you're using. And then once prompted, you will simply sign in with your credentials. So how does it work? Dropbox has seven different categories that you will see when you sign in. They also have their other services located within Dropbox, but we'll just be going over the basic Dropbox account. So as you can see here, these are the different things that you'll see when you first sign in that you'll access directly from Dropbox, which is your home page, as well as all files, photos, signatures, shared file requests, and deleted files. And um, these are pretty straightforward, but these are the other options that they offer. They have uh, backup where you could back up all your devices. You have docs in where you can send documents um, securely and track activities and uh, things like that. And they also have uh, Dropbox paper, which is a draft ideas and co collaborative docs. On the home page, you will see the option to upload or create. If you select the upload option, you will be able to see the option to upload files in our folders directly from your computer. For the create option, you can create a folder, a shared folder, create an automated folder or screen record. So this is what it looks like when you're selecting um, either upload or create. The automated folder keeps, your, or keeps you organized because you are able to automate certain tasks, certain tasks such as naming, sorting, tagging, or converting files. When you enter a file into the aut automated folder, the designated action takes place. Um, something to note is that tagging is a premium feature, but all the other options you can do um, with the basic plan. Screen recording allows you to record your screen, audio, as well as record yourself. So if you select screen record, you will see this option pop up. This is where you start and stop uh, the recording. This is uh, the indication for if it's picking up on your audio and your mic, you can turn it on and off. Um, this is the camera button, which uh, if you turn it on, you, uh, you will see yourself or whatever is in front of your uh, camera in this circle right here. And then also you have the option if you hover over the camera to select a, a front or back camera, depending on which device you're using. There's also the option to create documents, presentations, and spreadsheets. You will need to link your account if you're doing so. To create the aforementioned program types, you can use Microsoft and Google applications. So if you're using, um, if you select the presentation, you will either have the option to use Google Slides or, or PowerPoint presentation. Same goes for all the other ones. It would be um, either Google or Microsoft applications. 
On the home page, you will also see your starred and recent items, as well as suggested activity, which will automatically show up based on your activity as you use Dropbox. So as you can see here, the suggested activity is automatically um, appears here, but your recent will be the files that you recently opened and your starred one will be important um, files that you uh, have starred yourself. You can also choose to hide them. If you click on the all files option, you will see the same options on the home page. Additionally, there is the drag and drop feature that you can use to upload files. You can also change the format of how you see your items. So this is what the drag and drop feature looks like. Um, you would just drop your files here or you can click upload, whichever works best for you. And you can also choose um, the format of how you see your items. So these are the different options you have. You can either uh, view it as a list or a grid, um, which you have the regular sizing and the large sizing. If you upload photos or videos, they will appear in the section titled photos. Um, and the section titled share is where you can see and create shared files and folders. So this is what photos will look like once you um, upload, they will all appear here. I didn't upload anything, but as you, um, so there's nothing there. And in the shared one, you would either see, um, it's broken into different categories. So you will either see your folders um, or your files, and you can also create the shared folder using this button here. These other options you can still see in the shared folder, but um, it's not uh, uh, particularly for, um, what it's titled after. In the signatures option, you can send a request for signatures or sign documents yourself. You will see pending signatures as well as documents pending your signature, declined documents, and signed documents. You can use templates available on Dropbox if you have a premium account. With basic, you get limited signature requests but you have um, unlimited uh, self-signatures. So you can sign um, as many documents uh, as you need yourself, but requesting documents from other people, you only get three of them a month. When you select the sign feature, you will then choose if you're sending a request or self-signing. If you select self-sign, first select the document that you're signing um, for it must be uploaded to Dropbox. So once you select which document you're signing for, this is how it'll look like, uh, you will click the checkbox and then you will select choose. When the document is open, you will choose to either manually draw your signature, type it, upload a picture, or select the saved version. Next, you will choose where to place your signature. Once it is signed, just choose a save location and you have completed the self-sign option. So this is what it looks like once you've entered it. Um, you would either manually draw it here or you can type it, which is the next option, upload it. Or if you have one saved, you can select that option. And then um, uh, choosing a save location, you can uh, set a default one, which right now it's set as Dropbox. And you will also see the name of the copy that you're signing for. When you send for a signature request, you will first select which document you would like the person or persons to sign. Next, you will add the signer's name as well as their email address. You can input more than one signer. So again, select the uh, file that you want them to sign. And then this is what it will look like when you are inputting the name as well as the email address. And if it's more than one person, you would just add another signer. After that, input where you would like the signature to be placed on the document. So once you um, have assigned it, you will be taken to this page. As you can see, you can see who it's assigned to, um, as well as uh, the signature field. So you can choose if it's like a signature or just initials. Um, this will be automatic. You will see the date sign, their full name, their email address, company and title. 
Um, and then wherever on the document you would like them uh, to sign, you would move this box around. So if you want it lower on the document or if you want it at the top of the page, you would just move this box and that's where they will sign. Once you do that, choose a save location. And your last steps are to review the signers you have selected, add a CC recipient if needed, um, which means you will be forwarding it to someone, and leave a message, which is optional, and then you would simply send the request. So that's what it looks like. It's the same thing um, where we previously went over. You're choosing where you will save uh, the location, what, where's the save location. And then this is what it looks like um, when you're reviewing the signers as well as adding the recipient and the message. And then you would just press send for signature. In file requests, you can request files from anyone, whether they have a Dropbox account or not, and collect them in your Dropbox. So this is what a new request would look like. You would uh, enter the title explaining what the request is for. The description is any extra details about the request. And then you also have um, the folder for uploaded files and you can change which folder that goes to. Um, some features are only for pro accounts, which you have to pay for. So if you wanna set a deadline time or a deadline date, uh, that's a pro feature. And there's other features that are only for pro, but um, the request is for all accounts, including basic. Files will be automatically organized into a Dropbox folder you choose. Those who upload to your file request cannot access your Dropbox account. So once you uh, have done that, you will see like, here's the homepage where you see the new requests or learn about file requests. And um, as it says, if someone uploads, that doesn't mean they have access to your account, but you can also see uh, the submitters as well as the uploads broken into different categories. And deleted files, you can restore or permanently delete your files. You can search files to delete by name, email address, or dates. So this is what the deleted files looks like. Uh, if you want to search for a file by email or name, this is for uh, searching for that. If you're looking through um, specific folders, you can view a drop down menu of the specific folders, or you can search by date. So you can choose a start date and an end date to search by. Convenience. Due to Dropbox being a hosting service that syncs all of its data, any files you have stored can be accessed anywhere you sign into your account. This means your files can be accessed regardless of the of the device you are on. Utilize this service from your tablet, phone, laptop, or desktop. You can upload PDFs, Google Docs, and JPEGs all onto Dropbox, as well as images, videos, and code, making collaboration easy and efficient due to the various media that can be accessed in one place. You can also leave comments on document sections, tag team members to notify them of feedback, and use annotations to comment on pictures. To comment on specific documents, you would go to the All Files um, option and select the document you want to comment on. Once it opens, you will see the comment box on the right-hand side of the screen, and the tag feature is located at the bottom. With the first icon, you can comment on a specific section. So as you see here, this is where you um, tag a specific team member, and this is where you can choose to comment on a specific section of the document. And this is just to um, insert emojis or GIFs, GIFs, depending on how you say it. Um, available plans. You have the option between being billed monthly or yearly with the wide variety of plans available, ranging from personal to enterprise plans. Personal plans that are at $11.99 USD are $15.08 Canadian dollars. So um, I only included these because um, these are like the most uh, common ones that people use. So for the plus one, as you see, uh, we went over. And then you also have the family one, which starts at uh, $19.99 a month. And um, for each one, you get uh, two terabytes of space. 
to conclude, uh, these are the resources to explore that you guys will get um, once you receive the presentation later on. And thank you for listening. If you'd like to learn this lesson with a Cyber Seniors mentor, please go to www.cyberseniors.org or call 1-844-217-3057 to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone session. Uh, we also host weekly, weekly sorry, <laughs> tech drop-in sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern on Thursdays. Mm -hmm.